If you are looking for a way to add tabular data or tables on your website using Elementor and a CSV file, then this tutorial is perfect for you. Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video we will see how you can add table or tabular data using a CSV file in Elementor. For this tutorial, you will need these two plugins. First is Elementor and second is Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor. Make sure you have these two plugins installed and activated on your website. First of all, open the page where you want to add the table and open it using Elementor Editor. Now look for the table widget. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner. So that means power pack. Simply drag and drop the table in place. Once you do that, you will see table with dummy data appearing on the page. We'll start with the content tab. So here, since we are adding a CSV file, change the source to CSV file. Now let's add the CSV file, which has the data that we want to display. Click on upload files and find the file which you want to upload. Once uploaded, click on insert media button and the widget will automatically fetch the data that is stored in the table. Once you are done, you can go ahead and do other settings like you can make the table responsive and if you want the table to be sortable you can do that too. If you are dealing with a bigger table you can make the table scrollable as well. Once you are done with this you can move on to the style tab. Here you will be able to make changes to the layout and styling of the table. You can make changes to the overall table, the header, individual rows, cells, footer, icon and even the columns. Let's start with the table. You can change the width in percentage and in pixels. You can also align the table to left, right or center. If you want to add a border radius, you can do that too. For the header, you can change the horizontal alignment, text alignment, icon alignment as well. You can make changes to the typography and can change the text color and the background color for hover as well as normal mode. You can add padding and box shadow to the header as well. For the rows, you can change the background color and text color separately. If you want alternating colors on your rows, you can enable the strip rows toggle button and then you will be able to set the color and the text color for even as well as odd rows. For the cells, you can make almost all similar changes that you made for the header. You can change the horizontal alignment, text alignment, icon alignment, typography, text color, background color, padding etc. And the same changes can be made for the footer as well. If you have icons in your table, you can customize the icon spacing, color, image settings, etc. And lastly, for the columns, you can even add custom styles for your columns like column span. And you can change the text color and the background color of border, header and footer separately for odd as well as even columns. Once you are done making these changes, you can just go ahead and publish the page. With the help of this feature, you can create more detailed and more complex tables easily with the help of a pre-made CSV file. This feature will come really handy when you have to create more detailed and long tables since entering the data manually will take a lot of time. Let me know what you think of the table widget and the import CSV feature. And if you guys have any questions, do leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.